I'm going to get straight to the point. A lot of people, they surround themselves around failures. So sometimes they have the mentality of failures. And they don't even know it. See, a lot of times people get in toxic relationships. I've been in a lot of them. And the person, they cause all this emotional energy draining stuff. And then they do it on their off day. Or they do it and they call in work. Or they just sit there trying to regroup. I'm a G. I don't got time to regroup. I go to work or do whatever I have to do, no matter what emotional state of mind I'm in. You know why? Because I'm not a quitter. Most people are quitters. And that's what makes the difference between a winner and a quitter. See, there's a lot of words in life that are either or, that you can't be both of them. And there's a lot of things in life where you can be both of them. See, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. It's a lot of people that want to see you make it. But they don't want to see you get farther than them. And when you get farther than them, they're going to get in their feelings. Guess what? I don't believe in holding people back. I'm the opposite. I don't want to employ I, I mean, if that's all you want to be, I accept that. But I really don't even want that type of person around me. I want somebody around me that's trying to grow and get to the top. When I look out for people and they say, hey, man, let me cut some grass with you. I say, man, I got something better. I'm going to give you your own yards. I try to build independence. I'm not a hater, so I'm anti-hater. I'm not a type of people... That hold people down. So I'm opposite. I don't want to break people. Tear people down. I want to build people up. I'm the opposite. I want to give everybody compliments. And tell them what they is good. But guess what. In, in order to see them win. Sometimes I got to point out the bad in them. I got to give them constructive criticism. Which is the opposite of deconstruction. Destructive. Tear them down. People are dangerous with their words. They know they can't touch you. They know they don't got nothing, no hands for you. So they going to verbally, mentally, spiritually, whatever they got to break you down. You got to sidestep that. Sidestep that. Come on. Come on. We got to get up, get out, and get something. See, misery love company. They love it. That's why I'm always solo dolo. Because I don't want no company, baby. So that's, guess what? That's less chance of me being miserable. Because guess what? I could do time by myself or with somebody. But I like sharing my knowledge. Because it makes you feel better to be better. And a lot of people better than me. But that don't mean you better than me. That means you have mastered the art of something that I might not have the ability to master. But me knowing my abilities is a master in its own right. See, some people know all they got is a jab. So guess what? Like Bruce Lee say, don't worry about the dude who practices a thousand punches one time. Worry about the dude who practiced one punch a thousand times. That's words from a master. See, everybody wants to be a master. See, bro, look, man. I could listen to somebody in my headphones while I work. I got about 20 pair. I could listen to, up, you know, knowledge. You know what I mean? I can listen to that. What I can't listen to for three hours is something that's going to reprogram me to not to be a loser. 
So that's why I basically listen to winners. Because all winners, you know what I'm saying? They only have one way to win. And it ain't always by all means. But it's for a whole group of people. Everything on the line is by all means. You see how you you see how something doesn't always apply, but it always apply. Bro, I'm tired of my friends getting the best information. And I can't share that with y'all. Because it's hard for me to do scriptive heart checks. It just got to be me really trying to help an individual. Even though I always speak in general. Everybody be a, a want to be a five-star general. Speak in general. That's what generals do. Now, every once in a while, they have time to talk to a private or a lieutenant and talk one-on-one -on -one and uplift that one person. So he can go spread it to the rest. But generals. And I'm not saying I'm a general. I'm a pawn. I'm proud to be a pawn. One thing about a pawn though. They can go down there. And they can be anything they want to be. Because guess what. The only thing. They can't go down there and be is a king. But. How, why would they have to go down there and be a king? Because if they made it to the other side, the king is still on the table. Why y'all can't mess with me? Y'all can't mess with me, man. Look, I came from nut to all this. Homeless. Look, I got to go get it. Because if I don't go get it, if I don't go get it, where all this gonna go? Where all this? Where all my? Hey, I got. I'm fighting for something. I ran across a dude. He said, "Look, we finna get out there." <laughs> he said, "Man, I don't got nothing to lose." I said, "Well, let's go. I got everything to lose. Let's see who fight harder. The man who don't got nothing to lose, who at some point can give up and ain't lost nothing, or the man that's gonna go hard." It's hard to take something from it's hard to take a belt from a champion that really want his belt. That's why some people, man, guess what? They don't get satisfied with one ring, two rings, three rings, four, five, six rings. Cause they never get tired of winning. A winner is always a winner. Now sometimes, hey man, I can tell y'all, y'all got a little fight another day. Don't overtrain, don't overwork. But don't get you know, balance mixed up with trying to go the easy route. The easy route. You hey, you live in fairy tale world. This the real world. This the real world. Yeah, it ain't about where we been and where yeah it is. Yeah, it is about where you been. You been in the mud? I never would have knew that. That's that's how it's supposed to be. Sometimes you got to go all the way back to history because those are the people you're trying to reach. Some people can't relate to just straight up you telling them what you where you want them to be. It didn't take you overnight to get there. So with that being said, man, I'm out. Good morning. I'm running late, but I still took time out to make this video. Make them wait. My daddy used to say, son, watch this. Watch how many times they call my name out here. Watch how many times we just going to keep on walking. Watch how many times they say my name. My dad used to tell me one lesson he told me. Don't never let them tell you it's nighttime when it's daytime. You don't have to be around your son every day or your daughter every day. You the man. You should be, enough. You should be able to sprinkle one or two seeds. That'll grow into a mountain tree. How many seeds do it take to grow an oak tree? Yeah. you. It take a lot of seeds to grow sticker burrs. It only take one seed to grow an oak tree. That being said, I'm out, man. Cut the camera. Y'all got them mountains that turn to avalanches, man.
Them things slide on down the road, man. They not solid, man. Try to build you a solid bridge, man. It don't have to be golden. But, it, hey, if your bridge can be solid, because, you know, if it was solid, gold would be soft. Yeah, they got to add something to that. Yeah, man. Hey, man. Everything to go ain't. Yeah, I used to wear fake gold tops. Then I start wearing real gold. Okay, okay, okay. I'm off the message, man. The message is, though, man. This is something I was never able to say because it wasn't in my vocabulary. I used to say, man, I ain't never was able to say crabs in a bucket, man. But stop hanging around them niggas with the mindsets of crabs in a bucket, man. See, I done messed up this video. I'm going to edit that part out. Yeah, I am. I'm going to edit that part out. I don't think to actually edit that part out. Cut the camera.